Hi guys, welcome to another news. Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu, who said that he is confident that King Charles would follow in the footsteps of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, noted that the monarch will surpass the Queen's achievements in the United Kingdom and Commonwealth. Nigerian's president elect Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu has written to the newly crowned King Charles III of the United Kingdom. Congratulating him on his coronation and suits to establish with the monarch and work with him. Tunumbu, who said he is confident that King Charles would follow in the footsteps of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, noted that the monarch would surpass the Queen's achievements in the United Kingdom and Commonwealth. He appealed to King Charles to continue tackling the problem facing the underprivileged, underprivileged people in Africa and around the world and express hope that the bilateral relationship between Nigeria and the United Kingdom will continue and become stronger during King Charles' reign and his own administration. Tenumbu said, it is outwarming that your accession to the throne is coming after the 70-year reign of your iconic mother, Queen Elizabeth II, whose death last September left the entire world in grief giving her eventful reign. Bearing your unique place in history as the first king to be inaugurated in Britain since 1937, I trust that you will follow in the glorious footsteps of your late mother and even surpass her achievements in the United Kingdom and, com and the Commonwealth. Particularly remarkable about you is your love for the environment, importantly your lifelong crusade for sustainability and bio biodiversity. I hope you will continue to push for this initiative with kind eyes on the situation and plight of the underprivileged people in Africa and around the world. As the President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I also hope that during your reign, the excellent bilateral relationship between Nigeria and Britain will continue and even become stronger in the interest of our two countries. I look forward to further engagement with you and the opportunity of a meeting in the nearest future, as both of us have earlier indicated in discussion with mutual friends and associates. Once again, I rejoice with you on your coronation and pray that God Almighty grant you strength and wisdom to make your reign successful for the benefit of not only the people of Great Britain, but for the entire world. It has been reported that Nigerian President-elect Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu has sent a congratulatory message to King Charles III in his coronation and Tunubu hopes for further engagement and meeting with the new king who was formally crowned on Saturday, May 6. King Charles III entered a unique place in history as the first king to be inaugurated in Britain since 1937 and is expected to surpass his mother's achievement. Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu has sent a congratulatory message to King Charles for his coronation, following his coronation on Saturday. In the letter, Tunumbu conveyed his warmest, warmest congratulations to King Charles III and expressed his hope that the excellent bilateral relationship between Nigeria and Britain will continue and even become stronger during the reign of the new king. The president-elect also commended King Charles' lifelong crusade for sustainability and biodiversity and urged him to continue to push this initiative with kind eyes on the situation and plight of the underprivileged people in Africa and around the world. Ashwadibola Metonumbo also expressed his anticipation for further engagement with King Charles III and the opportunity for a meeting in the nearest future as both of them had earlier indicated in this discussion with mutual friends and associates. He ended the letter by rejoicing with King Charles III on his coronation and praying that God Almighty grant him the strength and wisdom to make his reign successful for the benefit of not only the people of Great Britain but for the entire world. On Saturday, the world watched as the British monarch celebrated the coronation of King Charles III. 
the rich tradition and splendor of this British monarchy were on full display as the new king was crowned with the appellation of King Charles III. As the first king to be inaugurated in Britain since 1937, King Charles inherited a unique place in history and is expected to follow in the glorious footsteps of his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, and even surpass her achievements in the United Kingdom and Commonwealth. It was also reported that King Charles swore to govern the people of the United Kingdom with justice and mercy and to uphold the Anglican Church of England and the Presbyterian Church of Scotland. King Charles said as he took the oath of Westminster Abbey. He said, I swear to govern the people with justice and mercy and to uphold the Anglican Church of England and the Presbyterian Church of Scotland. King Charles, who acceded to the British throne on his mother's death on the 8th of September 2022. He was the longest serving British high apparent, having surpassed Edward VII's record of 59 years of on 20th of April 2011. When he became monarch at the age of 73, Charles was the oldest person to do so. The previous record holder being William IV, who was 64 when he became king in 1830. Charles gave his first speech to the nation on the 9th of September at 1800 BST, in which he paid tribute to his mother and announced the appointment of his elder son, William, as Prince of Wales. The following day, the accession, accession council publicly proclaimed Charles as king, the ceremony being televised for the first time. Attendees included the new Queen Consort Camellia, Williams, the Prince of Wales, and Prime Minister Liz Truss and her six living Prime Ministerial predecessor. The proclamation was also read out by local authorities around the United Kingdom. Other realms signed and read their own proclamation and did Scotland, Wales, North Ireland, British overseas territories. Crown dependencies, Canadian provinces, and Australian states. Charles' coronation took place at Westminster Abbey on the 6th of May 2023. Plan has been made for many years under the code name Operation Golden Orb. Reports before his accession suggested that Charles' coronation would be simpler than his mother's in 1953, with the ceremony expected to be shorter, smaller, and less expensive and more representative of different faith and community groups. Falling in line with the king's wish to reflect the ethnic diversity of modern Britain, nothing less, the coronation was a church of England rights, including the coronation oath, the appointment, delivery of the orb, and the enthronement. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button, and let us know your comments via the comment section below. Bye for now.